Hello, I am Bo Grzeski. Today we'll be exploring Google Cast for Education. It's an extension that can be used to mirror your Chrome device, in particular Chromebook, from one Chrome to another Chrome window. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking our logo during the video. Also give us feedback or check out our related videos by clicking the pop-up cards in the upper right hand corner. Let's get started with Google Cast for Education. Okay, so what we're going to do is start things off by going to Chrome Web Store. The Chrome Web Store is where you're going to need to install the Google Cast for Education extension. I'm going to provide this link to the extension right in our YouTube description below. Once you go to it, you're going to hit Add to Chrome and just hit Add Extension. Now it's going to tell you that it's sitting in the upper corner of your screen. So now that we have the extension installed, you should see a little icon that looks like this. I'm going to click on it to activate it. And this is going to take me through the initial setup stage. The first thing you want to do is you're going to give your receiver a name. I would make this pretty unique, probably include something about your name in it. I keep this up and I keep this up by display, but I also like to play with this one. I'm a big fan of using GIFs and images in the background. So I'm going to add some pictures in my background here. Most people don't really take advantage of going to sites like Wikimedia Commons, which has a lot of great reusable images and just modeling a way to be a good digital citizen. So I've got a couple pictures here of some animated GIFs and you can't just copy the URL at the top and I'm going to right click on the picture and I'm going to copy the link address. Then I'm going to go back. I'm going to paste another picture, okay, and now you can see that there's a difference there. You can do this with static pictures too, but I just like to keep things moving, so I like to see some GIFs up there. So, I want this to be on screen for one minute. I'm going to make it less than that. I'm going to make it every five and save. So, the server name is going to be learning test, and the background image is going to be this. So my windows popped up and you can see now that the images in the background have came through and every couple of seconds they're going to cycle back and forth to each other. On the bottom you can see that this is my Google account that I've activated this with. This is my server name so I'm going to look for that. And now we get to share that. The great thing about this extension is it's connected to your G uh, Suite account. So all of your classes and groups that you do in Google Classroom are going to be the only ones that you can share with unless you type in individual emails. There's my other account, so I'm going to give access. You can request, you can present. And just to show you the difference, this is my Google Cast for Education with my other account. So I've already added this to uh, my g.ori account, and this is that server name. So I already have this extension in a different window, but if I were to hit share here, and I already have a bunch of share settings already connected. And I've already had my Google Classrooms in here, so I can instantly change all the students in a single Google Classroom to can present, or the teacher can present, the students can request. All I have to do is just click on this box and all of my other Google Classrooms will come up. Okay, so what we're gonna try and do now is take you through the steps of how to project your Chromebook to your teacher laptop. Again, this could be really from any Chrome browser. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click and look for the word cast. Now, if you're just clicking on a website, you won't get it. So you have to kind of find a spot of the website that does not have any images, okay? So I right click cast and a window is gonna pop up for me to see where do I wanna to project to. If you hit the cast to button, you have another option. Cast tab is going to allow you to just project the one current website tab that you have open, or Cast tab top is going to do everything that you see on your screen. I'm going to go with Cast tab right now. And what server do I want to go to? Uh, this was the one that we made for the video, so I'm going to pick Learning Test. Currently, casting my Chromebook tab to my teacher laptop. On my Chromebook here, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna slide up. As I slide up the Ori County website, it's going through on my Chromebook. What's really nice option for the tab option, and you can see on my Chromebook right now that I have that little blue square right next to my tab that tells me I am casting it. I also see that my cast icon on the corner 
tells me that I am currently casting as well. But with the tab, uh, the tab option, I can go to another tab, and it's not casting, but let's say I need to check out something in Google Classroom, or maybe I want to do my homework, or maybe I need to do attendance. While I'm doing that, my students are coming in, they're checking in, I can get other things done, but still maybe keep my agenda up. Now, your other option to cast would be if desktop mode. So I can go back to cast, and we need it to stop casting on here. So I'm going to tell it to stop. And then on my Google Cast window, that just went back to my screen there. And what I need to do is I need to change this from Cast Tab to Cast Desktop. Still going to pick Learning Test. I'm picking the whole screen. OK, so let's close that little window. And now you can see I have all of my stuff across the top. So here we are now in cast desktop mode. And in cast desktop mode, not only am I sliding up in my Chromebook, but you'll now see everything on my desktop can be projected. And now if I change from another tab, it will keep up with me. This is probably going to be the most ideal option if you want to mirror your Chromebook to your to your projector screen without actually hook up anything. So that is Google Cast for Education. Again, this is a really great program. You can share Chrome screen. So think about other teacher laptops. Students can go Chromebook to Chromebook, Chromebook to laptop, laptop to Chromebook. As long as you have the extension, as long as you give the right permission levels, this could be a great way to share your screen and let it be seen with others. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and follow us by clicking on the links below in the description.